Exciting news announced out of Dickinson for plans of a new sports complex that city, collegiate, and public schools will get to enjoy. Cameron Brewer takes us to the future grounds. With this project, there was no hesitation that absolutely. The Dickinson State University Heritage Foundation announced plans for a groundbreaking for a sports facility to be known as the Sanford Sports Complex. Sanford was one of two organizations, along with American Bank Center, that provided lead gifts for the sports complex. Plans for this facility include five soccer fields, four softball fields, a concession stand, and a large parking lot. The sports complex will provide for our community is an important quality of life feature that uh, enables our growing softball program and our huge soccer program to uh, play on world-class facilities. Which is exciting news for Dickinson State Athletic Director Pete Stanton. The women's softball team, you know, really doesn't have a, a facility. It's a shared facility. They don't have a facility on their own that they can practice with. We're running out of room for uh, the Dickinson Diamond softball. The Sanford Sports Complex will be used and shared by DSU, the public schools and parks and recreation. To bring together the schools and to bring together Dickinson State and do this in a united effort, you just you just don't see that very often. Guy Fritley says space at the current sports facility is not large enough to accommodate sports needs, which is why he can't wait for the new one. So our old softball complex uh, where our teams currently play on was a little over 50 years old and it's not set up and it's not conducive to be able to play any tournaments and host any tournaments. It's just uh, virtually impossible. We've got a daughter age seven. She's a softball. <laughs> player. We've got a son age five and a half. He's a soccer player. Um, they're involved in many different activities. Who knows what they'll become or where their talents may be. The total cost to build the facility is seven million dollars. Funds are still being raised by the foundation. Reporting in Dickinson for KX News, I'm Cameron Brewer. It's expected the Heritage Foundation will have all the money raised by the end of the year with groundbreaking expected in the spring of next year.